Well, it is an incredibly exciting election process now taking place in the United States. America is voting. They started voting a couple of hours back. This time tomorrow, we'll get a clear idea of who is going to be the next president of the United States. At least we hope that that is the case. Most people, however, suggest that there will be a winner one way or the other. It could be quite close. It might, in fact, it will likely boil down to the swing states that we've been talking about. Uh, but for now, we've got our correspondents across the field in the United States. I'm joined by Jennifer Glass in Florida and Natasha Estrani uh, in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Thank you both very much for being with us. Jennifer, let me come to you first, put you on the spot and ask, what is your sense? Do more voters necessarily mean people want a change uh, or uh, does it not really make much of a difference? You know, that is going to be the big question. There's no question that there have been a lot more voters out. There's no question there's been a lot more early voting. But also, this is an historic election. A woman running, the first black Asian woman running, and the first time that a, a former president is running again after being out for four years. Donald Trump has essentially been campaigning for the last four years about this. And when he first threw his uh, hat back into the ring a couple of years ago, it wasn't taken very seriously. But now, of course, there is everything to play for. It is uh, really a remarkable, historic election. You can't really use the word unprecedented uh, enough. Uh, yeah, it has been really, really quite an election. And I'd like to bring in one of the, the poll workers here. I'm in New Smyrna Beach, Florida at the Babe James Center. Dave, come on in here. This is Dave Reichenberg. He has... Uh, He's been uh, here at the polls. He's been working the elections for early elections. He's a Florida native um, and a Navy veteran. Dave, thanks for being here. He is uh, supporting somebody in a nonpartisan race. But Dave, tell me about how uh, this year, sorry, we got some motorcyclists here, very common here in this part of Florida. Tell me how uh, this election compares to 2020, for example, and 2016, in terms of the turnout and early voting. Uh, the turnout on both all the aspects of it is more, uh, there's more excitement, there's more people interested in the outcomes, the contrast between candidates that can't be any farther apart than they are, and that's really bringing a lot of both parties out. They're just, uh, I worked the 2016, the 2020, the 2022 elections, and it's never been like this. The parking lot has stayed full. I've been here since seven this morning, and it's been full all day long. The lines have continually been out the door, and uh, it it was not like that in 2022. 2020, we had COVID, so that was certainly a different uh, circumstance then. But even the 2016, the overwhelming turnout uh, this year is just substantial. And why do you think that is? Uh, there's a lot of issues. The contrast between candidates and their policies uh, is so wide. You really have a difference and a decision to make on who you're going to support. And the economy, we've seen it under both uh, Trump's administration for four years. What's happened to the last four years kind of drives the, uh, uh, the, the turnout. Uh, the immigration issues that we're facing, uh, they stem all the way down to here locally. It's been an impactful thing on, uh, on our own county. And those two issues predominantly are driving it, and then you add all the uh, referendums and things on the amendments to the ballot and stuff. That brings out another whole group of people who may have sat at home in previous elections because they just said it really no skin off my nose about who's going to be mayor, governor, president. But I'm interested in what this issue is on the on the ballot for my constitution of our state. So they come out to uh, vote vote voice their opinions and vote their decisions. Dave, thank you so much. That's Dave uh, uh, Reichenberg, who uh, is, is working the polls here. Thanks very much. Uh, as voting continues here in Florida, lines out the door. Thank you, Jennifer.